geology in a jiffy. What's in the bag? It's... Hutton's Unconformity. Hutton's Unconformity can be found at a place called Sikar Point, which is in northwest Europe on the northeast coast of Scotland. What is an unconformity? If you have seen the Geology in a Jiffy film about the different types of unconformities, you will know that in geology, an unconformity is a surface or contact between two groups of rocks, generally where a layer of sediment has been deposited over an older, eroded, pre-existing rock. The unconformity Hutton identified at Sikar Point is an angular unconformity. An angular unconformity is the old erosional surface across an ancient deformed surface, upon which younger and often different rocks were laid. In reality, angular unconformities can be quite pronounced, with the unconformity very clear to see at the boundary between the older, tilted rocks and the younger rocks that overlie them. The surface of angular unconformities often represents a very long gap in time between the older and younger beds, often many millions of years. Who was Hutton? Dr James Hutton was born in 1726 and died in 1797, being born and buried in Edinburgh, in Scotland. Hutton is thought of as the father of modern geology, due to his then groundbreaking new ideas that he introduced for the infant science of geology. In 1788, accompanied by Sir James Hall and John Playfair, the men used a boat to visit Sikar Point. It was at this location, and a few others, that Hutton was able to provide further evidence to support the ideas that he proposed in 1785, when he presented his Theory of the Earth to the Royal Society of Edinburgh. At Sikar Point, Hutton saw two main sets of rocks, as evidenced by the drawing that Sir James made during the expedition. Looking from above, one can see there are two main colours in the rocks below. At the base of the cliff area, Hutton saw dark grey coloured and steeply tilted sedimentary layers. These were found to contain marine fossils, so meaning that these rocks were deposited in a sea. The fossils also helped geologists date the rock to be about 425 million years old. Overlying these grey coloured rocks are almost horizontally bedded red coloured sandstones. These were laid in a desert and are much younger at around 345 million years old. From above one can see the trace of the angular unconformity, separating the two different sets of sedimentary rocks. This unconformity represents an amazing 65 million year gap in deposition. How old? 65 million years? That's amazing! When viewed from the side, the angular unconformity is very clear to see. At the base of the rocks are the 425 million year old grey coloured fossiliferous marine sediments. Lying at a much shallower angle above these are the red coloured 345 million year old desert sandstones. It is easy to follow the trace of the angular unconformity between these different rocks, remembering that this boundary represents about 65 million years. At the base of the desert lane rocks is a basal conglomerate, this containing pebbles of the older grey coloured rocks, these having been scoured from the ancient land surface and washed along by flash floods, before they were deposited and preserved forever for us to see, here at Sikar Point. Wow! Hutton's Unconformity at Sikar Point. Please subscribe to my channel. Bye!